Hey, Neil. Hey, Neil. Hi, Neil. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm with Dorkaholics, where we believe that there's a dork in everyone. It's our job to bring that dork out into the world. I love that. <laughs> yes. Big dork over here. Yes. Lots I'm of a dork, dork as energy. well. Me too. <laughs> no. I'm, I mean, the attitude with Dorkaholics is, is, is very much in line with Warrior being unapologetically yourself. So I am just... I'm, I'm just so grateful to be here right now. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We're happy to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. We're grateful. Thank Very you. grateful. So the world is a much different place than it, in 2024 than it was back in 2017 when production started, as well as when the series aired in 2019. What themes are as relevant as ever, especially from the context of your individual characters? Um, I'll just say that when we all gathered for that first table read and reading that um, the pilot episode, it was so haunting at the time. Um, it was past administration, and that's all I'll say. And just the parallels of what was going on back in eighteen eighties to it was twenty seventeen, and it it you know only got worse um, with the pandemic, the spike in. Um, Asian hate and, and crime. And so I feel like nothing has really changed, you know, over the hundreds of years that have taken place since. But it, yeah, it's been really jarring. And um, to, to make a show that maybe historically will teach an audience the experiences that we one goes through, and then to receive messages from fans being like, thanking us for shedding light on something. I mean, that that says a lot about our society and what we're going through. Um, so this this show has been in, incredibly important and uh, timely. And I think, you know, everything, the legacy of Bruce Lee, that's what he's about, about connecting people. And, and um, yeah, I know we all said it before, but the show is so important to us. So to be able to be on Netflix now and, and hopefully reaching a broader audience, um, means the world to us. So that first, you know, two weeks, if everyone can tune in and show us some love and, and binge the show, I mean, who knows, we would love to continue making this. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll say about, about that. Mm. Langley, Joe? Lang? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, look, I, I, I think Diana said pretty much uh, everything in terms of, of, the politics of then versus the politics of now. Um, I think also, you know, America as a as a country, um, there's there's lots of room for growth still um, in terms of uh, us not being so polarized, in terms of people not being so polarized, uh, and I suppose that is very much a mirror of of then and now. That hasn't changed. Um, how do we change that? You know, this is this is uh, this is, I suppose, one of the, our, our biggest challenges as um, as a species. The human species has, is, you know, we show we're able to prove time and time again that we we are better when we work together. Mm. So, um, you know, how do we how do we break through? Um, the people standing in our way, the structures, the political structures standing in our way. How do we break through those um, and be able to create create a new world? Because this world we're living in now, let's let's face it, it's not working. Um, and and that is, you know, I think the politics of this world have not changed much since the 1870s. And uh, so I guess, you know, if we can just stoke debate around those kinds of issues um i think it's going to help the world get to a better place please god let's get there before we destroy it of course we wrap it in a very um exhilarating action-packed drama-filled sexy show but we do yeah, of course we do <laughs> with, with the odd political sexy. dork <laughs> and badass yeah, it was hard in the 18, late, late 1800s. It was hard back then and it's still hard, especially during COVID for Asians all over the world. But the beautiful thing about the show, I'm talking about the show right now, the show is actually released in a perfect timing during that, right? 
And then people who watch the show understand. I remember when I was walking in New York, I bumped to an Asian uh, man, and and then the, the, this guy just said like, "Thank you for Warrior for me," and then thank you for the show. That show means a lot to us now. He said that for me, that's so powerful. That made made me more proud about the show right now because our show is actually telling the story about how hard being Asian back then, but also, you know, it's still going on until now. It's hard now. So, well, I mean, the show is going to be on Netflix and then we all Asian people, I, I believe, who haven't watched it, it's going to watch it and then it's going to give two thumbs up for the next, what, four weeks after the show released and then we have, you know, higher chance to continue the story. And then there's such an important story for Asian people, but also important for um, everybody. Mm -hmm. Joe, I, I mean, how excited are you to get this opportunity on Netflix to showcase all of the action stuff that you've done on Warrior. <laughs> Super excited. Um, I think I got to give the credit to all the team. Yeah, I um, we have Brett Chan and his team and they worked so hard, you know, created great, great designs of fights to, for three seasons. And then easy to say, I'm just a singer. They're the writer, they're the ranger of the song. So. It's all them. And then the beautiful thing about the collaborations, they're so open and so collaborative. And what you, what people are going to see and what you saw, all fights in the show is collaboration, great collaboration, like family collaboration, that people that we all trust each other. Me and Koji, when we are fighting together, you know, we always kind of like believe that. You know, did the, the, the energy, the, the soul of the fight is you not you're trying not to hurt your other actor, but you're creating illusion that create illusion of a fight that people are gonna believe and 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 you know be there, feel like they're in a fight. That's that's the illusion we're trying to create as an artist. So we did that in three seasons and we we know that we did a good job and we want people to watch it and we want people to, to know uh to watch the story as well. And then it's such a great balance of action and drama. And the struggle of fighting racism, not just for Asian, for Irish people as well back then. Mm. And with Lunar New Year approaching in less than 24 hours, I, I wanted to ask, um, do each of you have blessings or positive sentiments to share with audiences? Diane? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just, you know, I think this is the, lunar new year for me and my family is always very important it's the time when we get together clean the house kind of set ourselves up for this coming year and i just hope you know abundance of health and prosperity for everyone um yeah and 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 just being enjoying that time with with loved ones and setting a, a good foot forward for the year of the dragon it's a very powerful year which is very exciting um, but yeah, just, just long life, health, prosperity. Um, that's, that's my message. Joe? Like all Chinese people, like all Chinese people used to say, I like to say during Chinese New Year, like, <laughs> so, uh, it's like a, a prosperity is, uh, more money into your pocket and, uh, <laughs> And business is great and works great. And we get season four in next year. That's probably the wish for this new year. And year dragon, Bruce Lee's the dragon, and our mm -hmm. parody is a dragon. So it's a perfect, perfect year for Warrior and a perfect platform and perfect audience. So let's see. Let's mm -hmm. see February 16th. Two thumbs up after two weeks of that, maybe four weeks. I'm so good. Yeah. Some days, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you are. You, you, I'm just being Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say from the office of the mayor of San Francisco, I wish uh, everyone a year of of health, wealth, and continued prosperity. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. <laughs> Thank you. Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate Thank you that. so much, Thank you, Neil. Neil. Thank you for your great chatting to you.
that's well, 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 from my Vietnamese American background, Trip Mung Nam Mui. Oh, Trip Mung Nam That's so good. <laughs> I think I learned, that. I learned that. I learned that line. I think we we celebrate Chinese New Year back in season one or season two, Diane. Yeah. We were in Cape Town. I brought so everyone had, red envelopes. Packets. Yeah, dinner. Uh, she did. I kept I mine wish. in my wallet for a year and the money just I, kept rolling in. I still that's have what the, I told you. Put it in your wallet. Yeah. I still have the red envelope you gave, you gave to me. Like 20 and rands. All, I, yes, I checked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've not heard that. I will definitely keep all my red envelopes this year in my wallet. In your wallet. Yeah. In your wallet. Or at least put one in, you know. This one. Hmm. I feel for, like, for sorry, my, we're off topic, but anytime I get a new wallet, my mom blesses it and she puts a red envelope with some cash in it. And it's multiplied to a million dollar in yes. Yeah. Millions, <laughs> millions and millions of dollars. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Neil, so much. Thank you, Neil. Thank, Thank you, Neil. You.